protests in Libya, Sudan, and even Ukraine led to more destructions. Sultan-led Muslim group asked Nigerians to rather pray. The Islamic group in a statement issued on Friday by its Secretary General, Prof. Khalid Abubakar Aliyu, said that the discontentment and disillusionment being expressed by Nigerians are real and needs to be tackled head-on by the government but warned imminent consequences of the planned protest. Welcome back to our channel. This channel keeps you updated on everything going on in your country, Nigeria. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Welcome to the news. Please listen to the news in full. The Jamaatu Nazir Islam JNI, led by the Sultan of Shukutu Alaji Suda Abubakar, has cautioned Nigerians against embarking on the planned nationwide protest against hardship in the country. And this protest is tagged and bad governance in Nigeria. The Islamic group in a statement issued on Friday by its Secretary General, Prof. Khalid Abubakar Aliyu, said that the discontentment and disillusionment being expressed by Nigerians are real and needs to be tackled head on by the government, but want imminent consequences of the planned process. The JNI said, arising from the recent calls and counter calls for protests in Nigeria, occasioned by food insecurity, inflation, abject poverty, and escalating national security challenges, it's become very worrying and requires immediate attention by the government. Therefore, JNI, under the leadership of His Eminence Alaji Muhammad Sadi Abubakar, with all sense of responsibility, appeals to the protest conveners, their converts and overt benefactor, as well as other critical stakeholders and the federal government of Nigeria, FGN, to urgently engage in critical and realistic dialogue before the situation is um, degenerates or snowballs into an uncontrollable scenario. Nigerians, no doubt, are passing through difficult challenges, but protests might not be the um, solution. According to the group, the global landscape is replete with solid details of repercussions of protests in Libya, Syria, Iraq, US Capitol Hill, Ukraine, Tunisia, Sudan, Russia, among other did not yield desired results, rather they rendered most of these countries either ungovernable or partly destroyed. A glance through the events in Kenya gives some glimpse of what might um, envelop our dear nation, Nigeria, which is struggling to survive the multiple challenges that does, that does the landscape of the country. Undoubtedly, process in Nigeria could mar our efforts as addressing these challenges, but that as it may, we should learn from the bad experience of process in other claims and we should avoid the bobby trap they had fallen into in their bid to achieve good governance against the nation that process is the only way out because that is the language the government is said to understand does the source and of Shukutu employs all Nigerians to introspective and be honest on the matter? The discontentment and disillusionment being expressed are real and needs to be tackled head on by the government. Therefore, the JNI is compelled to make the clarison call and passionate plea appeal to all concerned parties concerning the current hardship going on in our country Nigeria because it's becoming unbearable for the citizens to live in because of the daily struggle to feed and other um, challenges going on in our country. We have stated times without number in our previous um, press release that food security is synonymous with home security as intuited in the glorious Quran. 106 verse 4. It's noted that the Nigerian government should make more drastic efforts to secure the country such as the citizen would have access to their land and cultivate them. 
provides subsidized farming materials, promotes industrialization, creates self-sustaining agro-business in the sixth geopolitical zone. The GNI said the government should not enhance quality the government should also enhance um, quality education, especially primary school, um, technical and vocational education. The chronic um, guidance in trying moments remains thus. When the suffering reach them from us, why then did they not learn humility? Quran 6 verse 43. Hence, sober reflection, sincere humi humility, and continued prayer to Allah, the ever merciful, is the, uh, um, is the antidote to the um, Quran mere. The Prophet said, supplication is the weapon of the believer and the light of the heaven and the earth. Let therefore be in continued prayer for Allah's attempt intervention. In this time of challenges, we pray for guidance, protection, good health, and peace for all leaders and every single citizen in our country, Nigeria, for Allah to prevail in our country, Nigeria. So my country people now don't hear the matter like this. Nigerians don't react concerning this matter. Maybe know it in the talk. God has given us everything in Nigeria, but we have bad leaders that don't want to use their brain. Only flood of revolution with some things around for good. If to say they don't answer us, if to say they give us solution, this protest no good hope. I hope he got all these cars and good life and he is living through prayers. All the clergymen in Nigeria only care for their pockets. After meeting with the president and presidency, what do you expect? A funny country indeed we live in. The president should address the citizen on this issue, raised especially the return of fresh subsidy and insecurity. Then we know that he is creating a solution and not him giving us deaf ears. We pray too much in this country and it is time for action. Protest is the only alternative left for us. And we hope and we believe in God that everything will turn out to be a peaceful one and not threaten us with what other countries has faced during protests. Prayer and action is the best solution. No going back protests should be carried on this protest. With all due respect, this protest needs to hold because a prayer without action, there won't be a result. So my country people are done here waiting. Some Nigerians don't suck.